fucking right. Two fucking songs in and already we have proven that we are by far one of the top ten choices of all heavy metal bands to open up for the great Judas Priest. We're gonna fuck that guy's girlfriend after the show. Yeah! Well, you know what? You better get in line, because everybody fucks her. Hey, man, that's okay, because I can't catch any more diseases, you know what I'm saying? And you can't catch herpes twice, bro. How many people are ready for some fucking heavy fucking metal tonight? It's like cocaine and beer, they just go together. Fuck yeah, dude. How many people like cocaine? I don't even need to ask, I'm just gonna assume you do. This fucking guy right fucking here loves fucking cocaine. As a matter of fact, he used to be my fucking cocaine dealer before he became my fucking singer, dude. That's right, I used to sell him cocaine before I got him in the band. That's right, dude, he's a way fucking better fucking singer than he is a cocaine dealer, even though he's nowhere near as good as Rob Hoffer. But I'll tell you what, dude, it's hard to be a singer and open up for fucking Halford, but I want to introduce you to fucking this guy who is nowhere near as good as Halford, like I said. So don't get your fucking hopes up. But he is one of the fucking greatest fucking singers in Canoga Park, where we're from. And he's probably one of the best singers we could find at the last minute. This is before the internet and shit, so. But I'll tell you what, dude, I know if you're sitting in the fucking back row, you just walked in, you're see the band before, you're probably thinking, what the fuck, dude? Did David Lee Roth fucking put on any pounds or what? <laughs> no, nope, this guy is not as good of a singer as David Lee Roth either, but I'll tell you what, I want you to make some fucking noise for him anyway, Mr. Chubby David Lee Roth. I'm a skinny version of Vince fucking Neal, dude. Yeah! Well, you know what? You can still be 30 pounds overweight and be a skinny version of Vince Neal. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I don't care, dude. I'm so happy to be here right now, and I'll tell you why. I got two reasons. Heavy fucking metal. Yeah! And I don't know about you, but when I was growing up back in the 50s, I remember... I had a vision, dude. I woke up, I had a fucking vision. I had a vision of fucking dudes with long hair. When you had a vision of fucking dudes with long hair. That's not what I said. I said I had a vision of dudes rocking out long hair. Oh. It was weird for a second there. I wanted a vision, bro. Anyways, my vision turned out to be what you're seeing right now, dude. What you have, Michael, is called ESPN. That means you can predict the future. Yep. I know a lot of people are probably thinking, man, that fucking bass player is fucking retarded. <laughs> That's why he's a bass player, people. If he was smart, he'd play the lead fucking guitar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! If he was even smarter, he'd be the fucking lead singer. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! But anyways, I want to introduce to you, introduce to you a guy. This guy, not fucking kid, this guy. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I know we got some serious heavy metal fans here. This guy is faster than Eddie Van Halen on guitar, dude. Not quite. I'm still working on it. Anyways, a guy who's almost as fast as Eddie Van Halen. Judas Priest. It's also an honor to play in Hammond, Indiana. It's my favorite fucking city in the entire fucking world. Dude. Wow, that's amazing. Me too. Satchel, you said Pittsburgh was your favorite city. Shut, shut up! up. <laughs> Jesus, shut your fuck. Shut your pie hole, bass player. I apologize. I told you it was fucking retarded, but... No, it's true. My fucking... This is, I have a lot of childhood memories here. My fucking grandparents live not far from here. I used to go to my grandparents' house every Christmas and my grandma used to cook up some meth for the rest of us. 
I used to smoke it, it was fucking killer. Uh, great childhood memories, at least what I can remember. I was pretty fucking high at the time, you know? Getting high is cool. Woo, getting high is fucking real cool. And it's real fucking cool when you're in a fucking heavy metal band and you got fucking guitars that look like fucking tigers and zebras and shit. And your fucking bass player looks like a fucking girl, makes some fucking noise for one of the foxiest fucking kids. That's bitching. Right on. Also, make some noise for the guy who invented another way to stay skinny where you can get anything you want and you stick your fingers down your throat and make yourself throw up and the pie comes right back up. That's a bitching thing. Make some noise for that guy. Yeah. He's foxy, that's for sure. Yeah. Also, make some noise for one of the best drummers in our band. Yeah. Our very Don't stand. 